that was Frank Sinatra singing uh, Black Magic, Old Black Magic. And uh, Frank Sinatra's name is very popular around the whole world. He's a very famous celebrity for not only his singing, but he was a movie star as well. He made a lot of movies. He was in From Here to Eternity, here, From Here to Eternity, and um, another biggie was The Manchurian Candidate. Now, a lot of you people out there might have heard of The Manchurian Candidate before, because it was out uh, back in 2004 as a remake starring Denzel Washington. It basically was about mind control. Uh, and uh, they're making, you know, soldiers, you know, programming soldiers with mind control to be like, you know, assassins. That was the movie they made, Hollywood movie, with uh, Denzel Washington. So, in 1962, the original <clears throat> Manchurian Candidate came out and Frank Sinatra was a star in it. And uh, there was also a star named Lawrence Harvey. Now, Lawrence Harvey has an interesting name to me in this particular movie because this movie, The Manchurian Candidate, was about uh, assassination of the president. And in 1962, the president was John F. Kennedy. And one year later, after this movie was released, John F. Kennedy was actually killed in real life. He died 11, uh, or November 22, 1963. Now, it's very interesting to look at some of the stars of this movie. Uh, Lawrence Harvey, like I said, uh, like you have the name Lee Harvey Oswald, was the number one suspect in the murder of JFK. Another star was Janet Lee. So here you have uh, Janet Lee and Lawrence Harvey in this movie, The Manchurian Candidate, about the assassination of the president. And a year later, the president was actually assassinated, John F. K. was actually assassinated by the number one suspect, the top suspect was Lee Harvey Oswald, just like Janet Lee and Lawrence Harvey. And <clears throat> it doesn't end there. Because now, let's look at the name. Those were all real people's names. I didn't talk about a character. So now let's talk about the character. Lawrence Harvey is the actor. And the name of his character in the movie was Staff Sergeant Shaw. S-H-A-W, Staff Sergeant Shaw, and he was basically programmed into assassin, you know, to do the deed. Now, a lot of people probably uh, are not aware of the fact that there was a person by the name of Clay Shaw. Now, Clay Shaw just happened to be, uh, let's see, he was a businessman in New Orleans, Louisiana, and he was the only person prosecuted in connection with the assassination of President John F. Kennedy and was acquitted. So that's pretty interesting. Here you have this person named Lawrence Harvey who plays a character named Staff Sergeant Shaw and in real life a man named Clay Shaw was the only person ever prosecuted in the connection of the assassination of JFK. And I'll tell you, that's very interesting to me. So you have here Frank Sinatra in this movie, The Manchurian Candidate. And I'll tell you this, about a year after the assassination of Kennedy, Stanley Kubrick released his movie, Dr. Strangelove, or How I Learned to Love the Bomb. JFK was a big promoter of the space program as well, and eager to land on the moon. And in 1968, Stanley Kubrick released 2001 A Space Odyssey, a movie about space travel, and one year after that, in 1969, NASA launched its rocket, the Apollo 11, and that was the rocket that went to the moon. So you have some 
coincidences here with Stanley Kubrick and the assassination of Kennedy and uh, the moon or the, the the moon landing because in 1963 uh, JFK was was assassinated and a year after that Stanley Kubrick released his movie uh, How I Learned to Love the Bombs Doctor Strange Love and that was basically a movie about nuclear annihilation between America and Russia and then in 1968 he makes the movie a Space Odyssey, a Space Odyssey 2001. While a lot of people were taking all kinds of drugs in America, uh, doing acid and listening to psychedelic music and uh, watching Disney movies, and then all of a sudden, uh, a year just coincidentally, a year after the Space Odyssey 2001, NASA lands on the moon. I find that to be very interesting. And then you have here Frank Sinatra, who's a very who was a very talented singer. He was from Hoboken, New Jersey. He, he was arrested. He has a mugshot. I don't know if you ever saw it, but he's, he's a pretty good singer. You know what I mean? I see fingers up and down my spine. So that's enough for that, I guess. But I wanted to really talk about that subject, and I wanted you to think about it, too. You know what I mean? I think about it, and I want you to think about it also. Alright, and uh, thanks a lot for watching. Talk to you soon.